Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about importing scan files from third-party scanners. If you've used Wireless Workbench with networked Sure devices before, you've probably taken advantage of Workbench's ability to capture scan data directly from those devices. This is a really valuable feature if you've got a device like a Spectrum Manager or any networked microphone receiver, because it's a really easy way to get scan data right into Workbench. Now, we've discussed in other videos, so I won't cover it today, but the benefits of uh, scans in Workbench are to enable more accurate and, uh, and compatible frequency coordination solutions. Um, so that would be the benefit of getting scan data in here at all. But let's say you don't have a Spectrum Manager, you couldn't capture a really awesome scan like I've got right here, um, and you don't have a sure network device on hand, or you're doing coordinations when you're away from your gear. How do you get scan data into Wireless Workbench? Well, uh, the application supports a couple different scan file formats, and I'm going to show you today how you can take that scan data in those formats and import it directly into the application. So, first and foremost, if you want to import any scan data files, you'll do that all in the left-hand sidebar here of the frequency coordination plot, in the place where it says scan files. And to go get some of those files, you just click that folder button and it'll open a, a explorer window to help you get to those files. So I've got three scans here. They're taken from a couple different devices. I believe this one's from an RF Explorer and these two are from uh, Wave Tower devices. But what is, uh, what is important about these scan files is the format that the data is in. So uh, I'll just preview this really quickly and you can see it's just a CSV of frequency and DBM information in a very simple CSV file, comma separated value file. Um, and I'll give you the ta-da and then we'll, we'll go into the um, nuts and bolts of how it works. If I select one of these files, there we go, the data is imported directly into the coordination workspace of Wireless Workbench and we can be on our way. I've actually shown and hidden that just to see the data. There we go. So, uh, of course, in my demo, it works all nice and neat and pretty. And you may have tried this before, and it might not have worked as well. So I want to tell you really quickly about the formatting of the data. Because while uh, it's, it may be easy to get data into this format, not every scanner generates CSV files in exactly this format. So I, I just wanted to show you this, that Wireless Workbench uh, present is built to expect files that look just like this. So I'm looking at this scan data in Excel, but um, what's important about it is, is the data that's in here. So basically, if you can get your scan data into a format of frequency and DBM separated each in a cell like this, and you can export this data as a CSV file, which you know every uh, Excel and other applications like this have very um, common functionality built here. I'll just show you. You can exactly uh, export as CSV. Uh, then by doing that, you can get this data in a format that Wireless Workbench expects. Now I know some scanners have different uh, header information above this data, and uh, because every uh, file format and scanner can create a different set of header information, we've just tried to simplify and make really robust our importer. So it may be a little bit annoying, but if you can just remove that header information and get your data into this format, Workbench will accept it straight away. And doing so uh, brings the scan data into the application, and you can use it just as you would scan data from any other Sure device. Now, it should go without saying, but another format that we support is our own scan format. So, you know, in this case, let me turn this guy off and turn the Spectrum Manager scan on. I'll, uh, I'll make him uh, light blue so we can tell the difference. Let's say you captured a scan uh, from a Sure device and you wanted to save it as a particular format, or your buddy captured a scan from a Sure device and, and saved it the same way. That format is uh, an SDB or an SDB2. That's just Sure's extension for scan data. And Wireless Workbench can import uh, those scan files all the same. Through the exact same workflow, I'll just go to find a CSV, my favorite one from my buddy Dave, um, and you can import that file, and there we go. We're, uh, we're cooking, with, cooking with gas now, uh, with scan data imported in the exact same format in Wireless Workbench. So this is a basic overview of how you can take scan data saved in files from a variety of different formats and import them into Workbench for use in frequency coordination. If you've got questions or comments about how this works or you want to talk more about different file formats that you'd love for us to add, be sure to leave a comment down below. Thanks.